Blockchains and Cryptocurrency Explained If you haven't already, you may have unknowingly used software on your computer, tablet or smartphone that uses blockchain technology. This technology provides a platform for other software and apps to work within that require the secure storing of transactions. This is similar to your computer's operating system, such as Microsoft Windows, on which programs interface with to run, such as word processing, internet browsers, games, music streaming and other programs. Blockchain technology is like a digital ledger accounting book that records transactions. Just like your computer or tablet's operating system, blockchain software is unseen by the user, and works in the background underneath the programs you are using. This system is very secure. Originally, this technology was developed as a platform for recording every transaction of Bitcoin, a digital currency introduced in 2008, but it is quickly becoming useful in many other applications. For example, with blockchain, a diamond can be tracked from the mine all the way to the jewelry store, thus preventing the illegal trafficking of diamonds. The history of each diamond is accounted for and tracked, and can be seen by anyone connected to that particular blockchain. In the world of finance, transactions in bank accounts, credit cards and cryptocurrency can be recorded and permanently stored. A payment can be made anonymously, but is transparent and available for anyone to see. Bitcoin and digital currency allow people of different countries to exchange money directly with each other without the need for converting one currency to another. As cryptocurrency becomes more popular, Transactions of this currency must be recorded, stored, viewable by anyone, and secure enough that the information cannot be altered. This is the job of programs running under the blockchain system. One of the ideas behind blockchain technology is to structure a decentralized system that no one person or entity controls. There is no boss, no leader, no main controller. As a result, no one can alter data just to suit their own needs. People and businesses must be able to track and trust data, such as financial transactions. The story of Lehman Brothers is a perfect example of how important it is to have a transparent and secure ledger system. The 167-year-old Wall Street firm Lehman Brothers reported a record revenue of $59 billion in 2007, but they went out of business just nine months later. It turned out that the bank had manipulated its ledgers. Even the experts had been fooled. It was a tremendous failure of trust and confidence that created disaster in the financial world. This would not have happened if a blockchain ledger had been used. Using the internet and a blockchain platform, a person or business can transfer digital currency or property to another individual or business, and the transfer is safe, secure and anonymous. The transaction can be seen by everyone on the blockchain, so nobody can challenge that the transaction didn't take place. Blockchain software allows financial transactions to be made directly between businesses, between businesses and customers and between individuals, all without a middleman, such as a bank or a broker. This is called a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. This can reduce or eliminate transaction costs and can also be done with anonymity. If you use a credit card to buy a product from a merchant, the credit card company is the middleman. The merchant must trust that the credit card company will pay for the product, and the credit card company must trust that you will pay them. For handling these transactions, the credit card company takes a piece of the profit. In blockchain systems, data is grouped into blocks, and each block is linked to the next block by using a code that references the content stored in both blocks, creating a chain. When a person joins a blockchain with their connecting device, a computer, smartphone or tablet, they become a node in the chain. There can be millions of nodes, each being a part in the functioning of this distributed technology, where the information is distributed among many users. Each device reveals all of the activities of the other nodes on the network, giving complete transparency to all transactions. Transaction information, however, does not reveal a person's identity, only that the transaction took place. Because blockchain data is replicated and constantly updated, encrypted, and spread over many nodes, the data is very secure. If someone could change the data in a block, they would also have to change every individual node in the chain, or the software would raise an alarm indicating there is a discrepancy. The idea behind the invention of Bitcoin and other digital cryptocurrencies is to create a currency other than the US dollar, whose value can be controlled by the Federal Reserve Bank. The Fed can increase or decrease the flow of money in circulation. 
In addition, there is a need to exchange payments between people and businesses anonymously, but with proof that money changed hands. This is the value of blockchain. In the very near future, we will be seeing breakthroughs in industry, healthcare, real estate, the government, the internet, science and even society, as the use of blockchain technology expands into areas other than finance.